In this video, I'm showing you how to enable the 120 hertz refresh rate on the Samsung Galaxy S20 because yes, out of the box, the Galaxy S20, your new $1,000 plus flagship smartphone from Samsung comes with a flagship feature turned off. Wait, what? Yes, I know you're correct. This should come with 120 hertz turned on, but unfortunately it doesn't. I think Samsung is doing this for battery reasons to give users slightly better battery life, but really I'm all about that performance. So here's how to fix that. Here is how to enable the 120 hertz refresh rate display on the Galaxy S20. First, jump into settings, go to display, and here you have a setting for motion smoothness. You can see standard refresh rate is set to 60 hertz. Tap on that and you'll immediately have the option for high refresh rate 120 hertz. Tap on that and tap apply to enable the smooth motion display. Jumping back into the motion smoothness settings and you can see a difference between 60 hertz and 120 hertz and I'll illustrate that for you here in this video. Now there is one thing to note about enabling the high refresh rate 120 hertz display and that is it limits the maximum resolution on your S20. So if you scroll down to screen resolution, you are limited to full HD plus at 2400 by 1080. If you want to enable the actual maximum resolution of this display, 3200 by 1440, you will be limited to 60 Hertz. And it says here at the bottom, high refresh rate isn't supported in uh, W quad HD plus, your screen will change to standard refresh rate. And so if you wanted to do that, you could, but really, in my opinion, I would much prefer the slightly lower resolution, which to me still looks super sharp, and the much faster performance of the high refresh rate display. So that's my recommendation. Now, while we're in the settings, here are some additional tips to speed up the performance of your new S20 and make it feel even faster. You're gonna back out, scroll all the way down to about phone, and you're gonna scroll down to software information and you're gonna tap seven times on the build number. By doing so, you will enable developer options. You can see my developer options have already been enabled. So you can go back and then you can go back again and at the very bottom, you'll see a new option for developer options. Tap on this and scroll down until you see animation duration settings. Here we have three settings to choose from. Window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. By decreasing these animation times, you can make your phone feel even faster. Window animation scale is how fast windows pop up. So if we increase that, you can see this pop-up window right here now takes a little bit longer to pop up. So what I'm gonna do is pop that to 0.5 times, and now it'll pop up literally at half speed, very fast. Transition animation scale is how fast apps open and close. So if we do 1.5x and go home, you can kind of see what that looks like. And if we jump back into developer options, scroll down and find that setting again and change it to 0.5. Now all of a sudden apps open super fast and super smoothly. Now the last option is called animator duration scale. Let me find that here. I actually recommend you keep this set at one times because changing this can impact uh, animations in certain apps and make things look a little weird. And I'll show you an example. For example, in my weather app, Dark Sky, they have a option where you can see a hourly forecast and in they include a little animation of uh, the rain and how light, medium, or heavy the rain will be. If I jump back into settings and alter the animator duration scale, this animation gets super weird. Suddenly it's playing at two times the speed. Everything looks a little fast. Um, <laughs> to me, it's a little uncomfortable. I do not want it to be playing that fast. It looks weird. So I recommend you keep this set at 1x, but absolutely change your transition animation scale to 0.5x and your window animation scale to 0.5x to make your Galaxy S20 feel even faster. And now you're probably wondering, all right, what's the difference between 60 hertz and 120 hertz. It can be challenging to show in actual video because everything looks normal through YouTube. However, I can switch over to slow-mo 
and show you exactly what the difference is. Okay, so now we're filming in slow motion at 120 frames per second, and you can see just swiping around on the home screen, opening and closing folders, and opening and closing the app drawer, uh, what kind of difference the 120 hertz display makes. By refreshing faster, everything looks much smoother, there's less jank in the animations, everything is just buttery smooth and super fast. Here's an example while scrolling on Twitter. Again, here you can really see the difference in the smoothness and clarity that 120 hertz makes. Everything feels faster and more responsive, and there's a more immediate response when you interact with your phone. And honestly, the real benefits come when you pair the 120 hertz display with the faster animations that I showed you, because everything just opens and closes so fast, it feels so smooth and so responsive, you really feel like you're using a next generation device, which is what you want when you paid over $1,000 for a premium high-end smartphone. Now it is a shame that Samsung doesn't include this feature turned on out of the box, but either way, that has been it. That is how you enable 120 hertz on your Galaxy S20, what it looks like, what kind of difference it makes, and how you can speed up your phone by reducing some of the animations. Please like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more videos like this one.